What is up guys, you got Not The Worst bringing you this week's Patch Notes recap. Some pretty cool events going on. Uh, we did lose the Fortune Pouch event, uh, but it got replaced with something almost as good. So let's take a look at what's going on here and see what has changed. First thing I do want to mention, if you didn't catch yesterday's video, um, that might be because you didn't subscribe to the channel yet. So you should do that because sometimes we have cool stuff we talk about uh, and sometimes we have things a little bit ahead of time before they happen. If you didn't hear, there was a nerf for sea monster hunting. There is a now lar a very large tax on it, which uh, was speculated to be added with this week's patch notes. Um, we did a video about it yesterday, and as it turns out, it was indeed implemented. Basically what happens is you can get up to 500 million in guild payout, and then anything above 500 million has a 50% tax on it. So if you your payout was to be 600 million, you'll get your initial 500 million, and you have a 50% tax on that additional 100 million, so you'd get another 50 million, a full payout of 550 million. In addition to that, has the same thing which reaches another threshold when it's over a 1 billion payout. It then increases to a 70% tax rate on that amount from there, and that's the amount above 500 million. So pretty decent sized nerf to the larger sea monster hunting guilds. If uh, the smaller ones, you know, you can still easily get your same 500 mil that you could before. And if anything, now you just supplement it with some grinding or life skilling, whatever, whatever it is you used to do before you got your boat and you just get back to normal. So I think overall it's a good change because the people that are kind of know life's hardcore sea monster hunting aren't gonna be making eight billion a week or anything like that anymore. They'll be making five billion instead. Um, but it's not it's not a negative, man. Uh, I, the fact that there was it was so profitable, this is just my opinion, it was so super profitable for not playing the game, um, I think was a little bit lopsided. Anyways, so let's see what else is going on. We got recruiting Dregan Expedition event. This is uh, pretty much nothing right now until Dregan releases. Um, basically what it is, is you go check out our old friend Rulipi, um, hit her up and she's gonna give you some flags and uh, you just hang on to the flags until Dregan's out and you get to turn them in and you're gonna get three sealed Dregan treasure chests. That's literally the whole thing. Um, as you can see here from the chart that shows what's in these chests, you'll be enjoying a Cron Stone and maybe a Memory Fragment or two possibly a sharp black crystal shard to go along with that out of your third box so free stuff as long as you hang on to it for the next week because of course Dregan comes out seven days from today new titles been given out nobody cares does nothing um, lasts for 30 days 10 million people hooray whatever uh, part two of the celebrating millions event started this ended the uh, one with the enhancement cliff's weapon thing it also introduced cliff's weapon again so you can literally do the quest over again if you're not familiar with what that was it's a very simple quest where you as long as you go with a character that's under level 56 you'll get a quest to kill 50 altar imps which takes 10 seconds i'm exaggerating it takes 48 seconds and then uh from there they'll give you a plus 15 either main hand awakening weapon or offhand and you can then enhance it to pry duo try or tet and at each of those you get free gold for it. I don't remember what the pry is. Duo is 150 mil. Tries 300 mil and Tet is 700 mil. I did record a video. I, it is getting uploaded tomorrow is Thursday. Yes. That video goes up tomorrow, which is kind of a walkthrough of how I enhanced mine. I strongly recommend you probably just stick with try unless you're feeling really lucky. Obviously, you're going to hear plenty of anecdotes about people that went straight to Tet. No problem. And it's easy peasy you're, for as many stories as those you're going to hear. You'll hear twice as many stories of, oh my God, this thing is terrible. Why didn't I just stay at try? So I do recommend you stay at try. If you're really interested, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And so that way you get notifications for tomorrow's video because it's a walkthrough of me doing the enhancement. And I'll probably do it again on stream uh, since I, that yesterday's, the one I recorded yesterday was for uh, last week's weapon. And I get to do it again today. Anyways, moving on. Um, three new event filled uh, three new events filled with event challenges and event quests have arised. Let's open that up because this is like, kind of a lot of stuff. A lot of like gold they're just giving out for stuff. So basically, here's here's step one. You accept the quest from this bro over here, uh, Patton Dairuk in at Velia Inn, called Value of Hundred. Um, you're gonna give him one 10 G bar. So what is that? 100 K uh, gold bar. You just give that to him, and he's gonna give you an Imperial Delivery Certificate. It can be completed once per family during the event period of 11:7 to 11:28. So even after the Dragon thing. Then step two, play for 100 consecutive minutes. Okay, so literally just AFK fish or play the game at all. And uh, to complete the next challenge, and that challenge uh, is available from November 8th to November 27th, can complete it once per day per family, and you get a golden gilded coin from the challenge window. Since the event period is 20 days at the end of the challenge, you could have up to 20 gilded gold coins. What do you do with those gold, con gold coins, NTW, you might ask? Well, I got the answer for you in step three. 
the event's a golden surprise. You hand over the 10 golden gilded coins and an imperial delivery certificate, and you get a 1000G bar, which I believe is 10 million, nope, 100 million. You get 100 million gold for that, so there's that. It might be 10 million, I don't remember. It's probably 100 million. It's a lot of money for free, so just do it because it's great. Okay, this event here is Jolly Good Time, which essentially uh, replaced the uh, Lucky Pouch and Fortune Pouch event, um, but kind of has the same results. Although these items drop way higher in frequency. I can tell you just from grinding a couple hours uh, today at Crescents, they drop like crazy compared to the other pouches, but that's because you have to combine all three of these items. You can of course get them through gathering and fishing as well. I have noticed um, from fishing, I'm not getting them as quickly AFK fishing as I was the Lucky and Fortune pouches, but then again, RNG is RNG, so who knows if that's the case. And as you can see, you're gonna be getting some memory fragments and cron stones out of these boxes. There are some other items that you get to look at and not actually receive. Although I will say you're going to if you grind a decent amount You're going to end up with a high concentration of these boxes So you may actually end up with at least uh, two or three witches earrings when all is said and done um, Just today alone. I grinded for maybe an hour and a half and I got 12 boxes I, I mean of, of these items. I was able to combine it to make 12 jolly gift boxes So yeah, they're pretty high. I do recommend uh, for this event like a Fogans, Nagas, Crescents um, Gahas any of that well, Gahas is gonna be super contested during this. It's already always contested, it's gonna be super contested. But I recommend anywhere high density that you can clear very, very quickly to try and get it since it drops off literally any mob um, and you'll amass a whole bunch of them. Personally, I did Crescents this week just cause I did it last week and I liked it a lot. Then we got the Golden Challenge event. You just get a gold bar every day. Play for 100 consecutive minutes and they just, they're like, hey, here's 1 million gold. Or is that 10 million? I still don't know. Somebody will correct me in the comments. So if you wanna find out, Look at what's probably gonna be the very first comment on my video correcting me on what these gold amounts, but yeah, just be logged in and you get money. That won't cause inflation in this game at all. No way. Then more to come revealed 1114. Biggest thing 1114, obviously Dregan release, releases, so naturally there's gonna be a ton of events that are happening at that point. Anyhow, uh, next thing that's going on, double boss drop rate. All bosses have double the chance to drop um, just their actual boxes. It doesn't specify that they're uh, the latent aura things are increased at all. So there's that going on. This is also going to affect the memory fragment market and more specifically the relic shards and scrolls. Uh, the last bo the boss from when you run the scrolls is guaranteed to drop one to two uh, memory fragments, which means those relic shards are gonna be sold out over and over and over. So I strongly urge you to whatever you farm this week or AFK fish or whatever, use those because you're gonna have a hard time getting them if you're trying to do an enhancing session anytime soon, or maybe use this weekend to try enhancing an accessory since you don't need memory fragments for that. Um, at any rate, that's that. Ended events, we lost the escapade. We already mentioned the mischievous and fortunate and the bonus back literally spend pearls to get pearl stuff. So that's going on. Uh, daylight savings obviously happened. So the boss timers have been reset. Um, experience gained from level 57 character turning in full Marnie stones for forced Raranos has been increased. Very weird and specific update, but okay. And fix an issue with blah, 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 Fort Conquest. Nobody cares. Uh, system, here's the, the guild bonus incentives we were just talking about with the sea monster hunting nerf. We already covered that, so I'm gonna skip on past it. Um, if you wanted to cover that in depth, then just roll the video back to like three minutes ago when I talked about it. Uh, game world effects, uh, blah, 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 graphical glitch, fix this, fix that. There were a couple of UI changes, um, like the pet window and stuff is a little bit cleaner and has like colors and stuff on the different group flags, but nothing crazy there. Uh, most importantly, villagers of Grana will now start strolling around instead of standing still. I was really waiting for that update because it really took away my immersion just seeing everybody in Grana stand still and not actually walk around. Now that they're walking around, I can finally say Black Desert Online is now a, a complete game now that that's been done. Mount stuff, blah, 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 no one cares. Class changes, you guessed it. Graphic fixes for specific costumes and awkward standing position in whatever when they turn to the left using this skill and doing whatever. Um, and then there was a couple things with lawn sprinting. Uh, triggers after using the skill stately dignity uh, only when the shift up keys are pressed, W rather. The aggro effect uh, area for monsters has been doubled for the skill stately dignity. The combo into the skill Nimbus stride after using the following skills has been made faster. Phantom Dance, Deadly Dance, Fear, and Tailspin. The combo into skill Primrose after using Tailspin has been made faster. Pressing down right mouse button after using this skill Spring Breeze will now activate Bridal Despair. Bridal Despair has already been learned. And graphic fixes, of course. This was pretty cool and one of my favorite um, things they changed. Weight of Silver has been reduced by 50%. 
pretty awesome just because that gets really annoying while you're grinding obviously you don't want to have to use your storage mates to dump your silver but it can definitely weigh you down when you have a whole boatload of it uh, this kind of eliminates a lot of that and honestly silver was always too heavy and pretty restrictive especially if you're like a new player and you're just trying to like get quests done and things like that and you get weighted down by those prices some of the fish species the higher end stuff whales and whatever has been increased so you can check that list out here uh, marketplace registration price for caged owl has increased by six and a half times i don't know why that's relevant but i guess that it is fix the issue where the long-tailed rose finch could pick items up from the same distance as other pets uh, we'll take a look at the pearl shop for this week in just a second after we cover the rest of the notes here uh, interface changes um, some oh you can now make uh, hot keys for different things so you can see like recharge your al alchemy stone or check in all your pets or tag your character you can now make hot keys for those by using like alt and then whatever left click right click or alt you know two and stuff like that so that you can do quick functions that's actually pretty cool bonus there uh, a bunch of ish issue fixes blah 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 Please find below the change to fix paint for pets. Groups one, two, and three icon list has been updated with flag icon in different colors. I mentioned that as well. That's kind of what I was talking about earlier and some resolved issues of no one cares. Doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Great. Last up, we've got the pearl shop, which is right here. So we have, this is the Dregan Desert Hostility or Fishing Pack, which uh, essentially you get, you can get these pets, this little dragon looking thingy here, or this, I don't know what that is, a little beaver i don't know they, these guys who makes this game <sighs> anyways then you choose one among four you can choose special skills you can choose one of four talents for your beaver i guess uh and there's that you get this costume thing that looks like uh i don't know you're trying to be picasso or some shit here and then we got your value pack along with special items there so great this outfit's actually not bad that looks kind of cool it's all for female classes but even cooler than that is the arctic fang one for the male classes this thing looks awesome also there is a picture floating around of the archer class that's not out yet and his version of this arctic fang is pretty cool uh dragon scale horse set yippee and housing stuff no one cares about and that is all so there you have it that's this week's patch notes that's gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy the video be sure to like if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you get notifications when new stuff comes out we've been pushing at least five videos every week and we have enhancing live streams every single sunday where i take shots for tet attempts and usually in general just get pretty drunk so that's fun to watch so if you want to do that check out the link description below i've got the twitch url there so you can hop on over there follow the channel so you know when we go live i do do some live streams during the week when i can between work um, just kind of grinding prepping for the enhancing streams on sunday anyways that's gonna be it for this video everybody thank you for watching and I will see you next time.